Hi, Rob here, and today we're going to continue on with this series of videos that shows how I built and how you can build your own augmented reality treasure map. That is a blank magic treasure map where the directions on the map suddenly appear when users, such as your students if you're a teacher, scan the blank map using the HP Reveal app on their mobile device. In previous videos, I showed you how to create your blank map itself using the Canva online image creation tool. And I also created another video that showed you how to get started using HP Reveal to upload that blank treasure map and use it to create what's uh, called an aura and how to add basic layer images to it that float above the page when users scan it with the HP Reveal app, and how to add some basic interactions to those, such as uh, the Start Here button launching a YouTube video, or the X marks the spot at the end linking to another page, such as a Google Form or a Padlet or someplace where they can share their work after they get to the end of the treasure map. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add some more complex interactions to it. So, for instance, on this particular treasure map image on the screen, you may not want all of these images to show up at once when users first scan the map. You may only want one image to show up and the other ones uh, are contingent upon specific interactions that the user performs. Well, let's get started by going into the HP Reveal Studio, and I'm going to load that demo map that I had created in a previous video. So now I want to hit Next to get into editing mode, and you can see that I already have a bunch more layers added here that weren't there in the previous video. Obviously, I don't want all of these to show up at once. So the first thing that I'm going to do is hide them. I'm going to hide everything that I don't want to show up when users first scan. So uh, this arrow, the uh, compass, the, the uh, ready to move on compass, that arrow, uh, the X marks the spot, obviously that's the last step, and this start here video. The only thing that I want to show up first is this general demonstration link which users will tap on when they first scan and it'll launch the rest of the interactions. Now the first thing that I want users to see after they click on that is the Start Here button, which would give presumably some kind of instructional video. In this case, I have it just linked to one of my own YouTube videos. So I'm going to add an action to that general demonstration. And that action is going to be to, instead of loading a URL, to start an overlay. And that overlay I'll pick here from the drop down menu will be my blue play button and then I hit save so they click on general demonstration the blue play button will start well obviously I want the general demonstration to disappear so I'm gonna go find my blue play button and I'm gonna add an action to that which will stop an overlay so I click on add action after this overlay has started I want to stop an overlay and I will pick my general demo. Save that. So now they click on general demo, start here loads up and the general demo fades away. Now perhaps I want this arrow and the next step to show up a few seconds after the start here button. I can do that as well easily enough. I can add another action to the start here button. So after this overlay has started, after a time delay of, say, five seconds, I'm going to add another overlay, start it. I will start the arrow. And I will pick the red arrow curved right to start and hit save. Now perhaps just a couple seconds after that red arrow fades in, I want the ready to move on to start. Well, I'll add a similar action to the red arrow. I will, after this overlay has started, actually after a time delay on this one, let's say two seconds this time, I will start another overlay and that will be the ready to move on. 
And that is the compass ready to move. So now that will fade in on its own a few seconds after the red arrow. Now, perhaps I want my users to click on that ready to move on before the next step shows up. Again, I can add an action here to the ready to move on by clicking add action. When it's double tapped, I want to start another overlay. And in this case, it will be the other red arrow. Red arrow curved left. And I could pick another one if I want as well, but I will hold off on that. Perhaps I want then my X marks the spot to show up just a few seconds after the red arrow does. So I will highlight this red arrow, add an action to that. After a time delay of two seconds, I will load another overlay, which will be the X marks the spot. Save that. Now I have a more complex series of interactions. So what would happen here is that users would go through the general demonstration. They would click on that. The start here button would load up. Then a few seconds later, this arrow followed by the compass. They, they tap on the compass, then this arrow will load, and the final step will load. You could use this to create uh, branching scenarios, which we'll cover in another video.